Hey, welcome back everyone. Rob here from Ram Studio Comics. So today I'll be drawing, inking, and coloring Batman. I'm using the Procreate app for this one. And uh, one of the questions I got, because I like to share this work on my Instagram, Facebook, uh, my Ram Studio Comics Facebook site, things like that, even Twitter, and like getting, you know, feedback from people and saying, hey, here's what I'm working on. One of the questions that I got was, hey, do you draw this on paper first? And I have experimented with that, like I've shared on the channel. I have done uh, kind of transitions where I've started on paper, brought things in, inked digitally. I was always uh, color digitally. Um, and I like traditional pencils the most for sure, but uh, mainly too, because you get that original art, you know, but, uh, and it does have a more tactile experience and it's, it, it's nice to do that traditional work, you know, uh, but what I've noticed is that I'm just faster doing it all inside of the software. So this particular piece took uh, three, uh, not three hours, 10 hours. Sorry, I wish it took three hours, right? Three hours just to do Batman, but it took uh, 10 hours. Um, but that's pencil, ink, and color. Now, obviously, this is a very static pose. It's kind of boring, right? Batman's just kind of chilling there. It's not something intense and dramatic and dynamic and all that good stuff. But I did make sure to draw a background. Probably could have took the buildings a bit further. Um, but I'm, I'm, you know, making sure that I get those backgrounds in, that I try not to skimp on certain things. And next I have to do some more interesting compositions and some better, you know, start sharing more panel layouts on the channel here, which I plan on doing. Uh, so, but the main thing is, is being aware of the time that it takes me to get through these projects so that I can say, okay, what level of detail can I offer? What quality level? And still maybe hit a deadline if I ever jump on a book, you know? So, so basically for me, it's, this is a nice, uh, you know, balance of the amount of detail that I would like to put into stuff. Uh, actually, I like more detail, but I, I've noticed that when I get lost in those details, some of these projects take up and inward of 15 and 20 hours. Now, generally I'm penciling and inking to get to that amount of time. I never really take 20 hours to pencil something, but still I just look at it in terms of if I was to produce some work would i be able to do that like at least pencils and inks like would i be able to put those out uh on a on a deadline and in a time frame that is manageable so i usually have to compromise on amounts of rendering um so with this one i almost didn't add any rendering you see here at this stage there's like no cross hatching to bat to batman there and i was almost going to leave it like that i'm like no that's not really my thing i, I like more rendering so i ended up jumping in doing more of that um, but again, I'm kind of thinking about all those things as I'm completing the work. Now, one thing I did notice is that since I've been forcing myself to do these buildings and by, by forcing myself, I mean that I'm just not naturally inclined to want to do them. I, I, I love drawing characters and that's really my cup of tea. Like buildings just aren't really, you know, my favorite thing in the day, you know, but at the same time, I actually start started feeling uh, a bit better through this process. So I did some cheating. I copied one section of the building, brought it over. I'll copy and paste windows. I'm obviously using the perspective tools that are afforded to me through the Procreate app, you know. But at the same time, I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting to where I'm starting to enjoy the process again. And there was a point there where I was enjoying buildings, uh, but then I kind of fell out of it. And I think that's something that it tells me something about my own art process that it's not a natural thing for me that I have to make myself do it. But once I get into the groove and I stay there, I'm, I'm okay. You know, so it, it's identifying with these things. Like for instance, I could draw characters all day long. I don't get tired of it. Yes. Sometimes they're a little bit boring when I'm not feeling as enthused to draw. So I, I won't experiment with more intense poses and more dramatic shots because I'm not feeling it. So the other thing I've been doing lately, and I just want to share this real quick, it's a little off topic, but it kind of ties in, is that don't fight that uphill battle. When you're not feeling creative, when you're not feeling inspired to draw, stop, go do something else, come back. I know that sounds so simple and, and we all kind of preach it over and over again on the YouTube channels here and the different artists say this stuff, but it really does make a world of difference. I, I've noticed that if I sit there in frustration and try to battle through something, uh, I'll just keep getting more and more frustrated. But if I step off and I go do something else, like take a walk, read a book, read my comics, watch a cool portion of a comic movie, I can't stop and watch a whole three hour flick or something, but you know, go over and, and work out for a bit. For some reason that really helps center me, you know, it gets, gets my brain box going. Then I come back 
and I start drawing again and I almost always do better. And sometimes I'll do that even twice in one day and it sounds frustrating, but it works. So I, I step back, do something else, come back to it and then things start to click. So that's so important because I'm not saying stop and take a day or two or a week off. I mean, we should all take a good week off at least once a year, you know, they say. But but at the same time, I'm saying like interval breaks, but doing something to retrain your focus and then coming back to it. And I don't know, I've seen to have really good results with that lately. It's been helping me to produce pieces and, and ultimately stay on a, an art piece for, you know, the 10 hours that I need to complete it. Uh, so that's, you know, I just wanted to share that. So hopefully it helps you. But anyways, I'd love to know what you think of the video and what else you'd like to see. You can you know, be specific, tell me character types and uh, whatever it is you're struggling with that I can help with on the channel. Be happy to do so. So thanks very much for tuning in. As always, keep drawing, keep having fun, and bye for now.